Hello everybody, it's Jenna and I'm back with another video for you guys. So we are here in Horse World Online. It's nine o'clock and I'm ready to start my day. So actually, just a bit of information for you. Um, it's finals week for me. I'm in, I'm in college or university at the moment and I'm finishing my first year. So I've just done most of my finals and so I've got some free time. So I thought I'd pop on the game and um kind of show you what i was up to so a lot of things have happened actually i've been playing quite a bit um i've now got i bought another pasture with um some money i had and i've named it brood mares because i've i'm starting to consolidate the farm into a breeding operation um i'm slowly learning how to use forums so i've got my two um Colts for sale still, and I've got two on the way that are should be very promising. I found a great um, stud for one of my new girls. Oh, sweet! Right, so this is the forum post I was talking about. I've just made this. Um, if you can't read this, I'm sorry. It says seventy thousand GHP, and this one says over sixty-five. So, right. This is a forum post I've just made because I'm trying to get these guys to sell. Um, and it's it's taking a bit. It's been, I've had them up for sale for, I think, two or three days and I haven't gotten any, um, what do you call it? How do I? I've saw, I've saw this. How do I? All right. Um, I haven't got any offers or they haven't no one's messaged me or anything so it's tough because i want them gone like i want somebody to buy them and so i can breed more because i don't have any extra money at the moment to expand so that i can keep breeding more and just be holding on to them anyways um i've got a few goals for this this episode this installment i don't know what to call it <laughs> um so we've still got the babies and i've said in my ad that i'm going to like keep training them like until somebody buys them so that i can just continue raising them up in value so i'm going to throw this baby on the track two percent speed that's honestly amazing like absolutely wicked right here we've got kisses i love her she's <laughs> this is the only thing i don't love about her <laughs> um what we're we gonna do for you she's actually coming along quite well she's near rivaling esther like we need to get these um was it one two three four five six attributes up but like her speed is nearly there i'm pretty sure esther sits at around, around about 70 percent so like thing with her is like the speed is so hard to get up at her age like 0.73 percent compared to the two percent for the baby like it's ridiculous but this should put her to 70 69.9 whatever right um who else have we got versailles just relaxing in his paddock um and then we've of course got another baby this is the younger one not as promising as the older one the older one's got about three thousand more gp but it's all right anything above 60 is a good horse um and i've seen like champions that have like forty five thousand, so i definitely sorry guys um i definitely think mine have some potential I swear to god movement is like one of the hardest friggin stats to get up it's stupid this is the best i can do for farming and it only farms like one percent on the babies um also, something I wanted to explore is I've been reading a bit on the forums about how to get a horse to a championship because there's titles that I've seen people have with the animals and I didn't know how they got them. Like, it'll be up here and it'll be like CH++++, whatever. I didn't understand what that was. But basically, what you have to do is you need to get a certain amount of points. So, for a champion, you have to get 200 points and mine so far has got seven so, so um yeah we're gonna keep working on him my lovely lovely boy um 
And let's put him on a cart so that we get up his strength, because his strength is a bit... I've already trained him today, never mind. Never mind. Um, I popped on here just before I turned on the camera, and I figured I might as well turn on the camera. Um, let's put you in level two and see how you do in a race. Let's see. All right, first place with a time of 2.20.75. So I'm going to write that down in the comments. Um, it was 2.20.75. Just so I've got a basis on, like, how... What I can do with him. Let's see what he does at a level three. I don't think he's sturdy enough yet to hold up at the higher level. Like, he can't compete at level 8 like Estacan. 228.59. Right, so that was a bit slower. But he's still got a second, which is, is good, I guess. Right. So, what I want to do with him is basically just enter him in a bunch of competitions. And hopefully, as I get his stats up, I can um, earn him a champion title. I mean, that would be the goal, right? I put him in level one so that he's more likely to win because I don't. I love him, but he's not very likely to win a level two, I don't think. He'll get like a second. Why? Why are you doing this to me? I know there's level one events. Just show them to me. Sometimes this game is so finicky, I swear to God. Like, there we go. See, I, I can't, I can't put him in a level five. It's not gonna happen. It needs to be like a level two or three. I want to see like a level one. Level one would. Like, I'm not paying a twenty thousand dollar entry fee. It's ridiculous. Two dollar entry fee. That sounds good. But with ten entries, God knows. Better to get the ones with a smaller amount of entries because it's just better. You've got a better chance of winning and then a better chance of snatching up those points. Because you only get a good amount of points if you score in the top like three or four. I think if you get fifth, you get nothing. If you get third, I think you get like one point anyways and he already struggles. So like, it's just quite hard, isn't it? Like. A lot of it, I think, is just farming. Like, I don't want to really pay twenty dollars for an entry fee, do I? Not particularly. And anyways, I really want my babies to come because I've got, I think, two or three babies on the way. I've also done a bit of skill training. Um, up in here, I've um, done a few courses. I don't remember which ones I've done, but I've done a couple. It's hard though, isn't it? I suppose this is where I can um, get like the movement stuff, but it's expensive. Like, I've only got $2,900. Oh, like. I suppose this is dollars. That looks like a US dollar to me. It doesn't look like a British pound. Right. Hmm. Well, when I have more money, I'll I'll come back here. But I haven't got four thousand dollars. So another thing is horse ownership. I really want to do this one. You plus two to the maximum horses you can own. Um. What I also need to do is the broodmare. Um. Slash like equine reproduction because maximum mares you can have pregnant at once is like very um it's very important because if i can have like 15 horses but i can only have two pregnant at a time it's not worth my time because then i've got all these brood mares just sitting around that i can't use so yeah I'm gonna go back to my girl Esther. I'm just gonna compete her for a bit of money. Ayala is pregnant. I'm not sure if Adrena is pregnant. Actually, I haven't. She doesn't look pregnant. 
but she's also a big girl. Oh, she is? Really? I totally forgot I breeded her, to be honest. Well, that's good, I guess. Um, come here, darling. Please. Yeah. You can always tell when she's pregnant, because she's such a small girl that, like, as soon as she gets the tiniest little tummy, it's the most clear thing in the world. Like, baby is pregnant. Hopefully she's going to drop the foal soon, because I really, really want... See, this girl has these amazing stats, right? And then she's only got 46 points in an endurance. Like, what? How am I supposed to get a champion then? Whatever. I'm not bothering with her in shows. I need her for local shows anyways. She's just a brute mare. She doesn't need to be a champion. But I need my babies to be champions because then they'll probably sell quicker. And also, I just want to get a couple horses with a champion title. I think that would be really, really cool. Right. Please drop the fall. Fingers crossed, guys. Cross your fingers. And let's hope they drop the fall. Nope. See, this just makes me want to speed through and just totally ignore everything else just until the fall comes. But I really don't want to waste that time with the other babies because... That could be like 10 turns, and in that amount of time, I could put quite a lot of percentages on both of them. So, we're just going to be steady, patient, hopefully. She's going to leave a show in the bag just so I can do diamond card and see how he turns out. She's so pregnant, my god, just like pop the fall out. What are you waiting on? Seriously. Seriously, I don't know what you're waiting for because it's not me. It's not me, though. Right. Some mercy. She's getting old, my god, she's 11 already. She's doing good. Um, we need to really boost up this center piece, is lacking quite a bit. Um, intelligence. I just need to farm intelligence and movement. You can kind of farm intelligence with the lunge over jump. Nothing quite like strength though, it's a bit ridiculous. Oh gosh, I wish. See, 1.29%. Movement is not even on there, that sucks. Because I can't do it at trot, can I? My darling can't handle it yet. It's fine. Right, and we've got J.H. Adonis getting moderately fleshy. See, this horse is so much like 12.2 hands. It's going to be a tiny baby. It's getting fat. I'm going to have to knock down your food, mate. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, they've got some pre preliminaries on them. I'm just trying to make them more appealing to buyers. But um, let's get you going with movement then, shall we? Raise Cavaletti is the only one I can find with two stars on movement, so and that's not even one percent. Like, oh, this game it kills me, you guys. It really kills me sometimes. Actually, come here. See, Adras is getting quite big. He's almost as tall as his father. He's seventeen point three hands, eleven months old. It's insane. He's got them champion bloodlines. I tell you. Let's put you down, you don't need 124% food, that's ridiculous. Mm, what could you use? You could use movement as well. They all just need movement, you guys. Oh my god. They all just need movement. None of them... No, you can't do it on the track, can you? It's 1.01%. I suppose I'll take that. I don't know which choice do I. Right, come here, Diamond Cap. I've got a proposition for you. You also haven't been trained today, have you? No, you haven't. Again, I'm just farming speed on him because that's... When you get him, if he's going to be a racehorse, where he needs to be as soon as possible. I'm going to do another level two because that's what we did last time. I'm going to do a regular race, see what happens. What is going to happen to you? First place with 20... 2288. That's even faster, actually. Or slower, sorry. Well, I seem like you do all right at level two. Again, you guys, I really would like... To... Yes! 
Finally, who gave birth? Who gave birth? I'm running over to my broodmare's pasture. I want to know who gave birth. Oh, Esther! Esther had her baby, you guys. Unnamed horse. This will give you a name, don't you worry. Oh, look at the colors as well. Oh, look at the colors as well. Oh, 67,000, you guys. That's even better than one of my other um, colts. I was going to say foals, but I guess it's the same, same idea. Oh, you guys, that's so exciting. Oh, what should we give you for a name? I'm going to look up um, some Greek names really quick. So, was it a cult or a filly? It's a cult. Wow, that's the third cult I've got in. I could use some more fillies, you know. Because then I could keep one or two. Let's see. Let's find you a Greek name, shall we? Mm. I'm just scrolling through. And I haven't found anything that I like yet. Oh, this is quite nice. Entero Enteros means mutual love. That's what we'll call you. Enteros. I seem to have a thing phase, don't I? <laughs> I wish this was about somebody wanting to buy my foal, but I suppose it's not. I go back. Yes, yes, yes. Mark all red. There we go. I'm gonna put this baby up for sale as well. You will be, don't worry. 67,000 GP. Guys, guys, oh my god. Let's see. I think when I'm putting up a horse for sale, I take into consideration a couple of things. So there's GP. There's ribbons, and then there's the breed itself. So the, since it's not a purebred, I will dock the price of it. Put him at a level with the other ones. So 18,000, I think, is, is the... And then we've got, as you can see, my Aparsa um, headlines. What, what was his again? It was 60, 67,000. So we've got 67,000 plus... In that mix, and the color is quite nice as well. Actually, you know what? Because of the color, we're gonna pop the price up a bit. We're gonna throw the breeder report in there. Let's so make this a bit friendlier to read, shall we? That we've got this, and then we've got what's another in there? Oh yeah. Right. Um, I don't have a photo just yet, but we'll publish that now. And then I'll show you guys how you get a photo. So you go to the gallery, click load image, um, zoom in, and then you reposition this cutie where you want him. A little closer. Um, the hooves. There we go. Save photo. And then we'll go and check the sale. It should have the photo on it, or it will. Um, Republishing, see if it works. Let's see. If I go to the market right now, it's still not showing the picture. It's weird. But, yep, here's his ad. So, if you guys are interested, please, I would love you to, um, to go get him because. Honestly, like 67,000, what could you, like, ask for? <laughs> what else could you ask for, really? Um, let's see what we're going to do. Um, let's train everybody. And then we'll do another turn and see if um, another fall gets dropped. 
diamond, darling, come here. I'm gonna work on your speed again. Speaking of, you know what I probably should do is get my training abilities up. I'm not sure if, why did I just get this money from? Just from competing them, must be. Oh, darling. You're so beautiful. Only 53%. Really? It's like nothing for speed. Might as well. Now she's at almost 71%, so we can rest a bit with her. This one's filling out quite nicely. Like, look at this. Guys, come on. I'm a good breeder. <laughs> Not to do my own horn, but like, it seems like I like to make good foals. You know what I'm saying? Let's do some of this. Let's, let's mix it up a touch. See if this gets us anything good. Back to trouble. Can't take dust, but right. Well, that gives us some strength, some agility. I'll take that. Go on. Okay. Um, and we're gonna do a thrust, and then we're going to skip the day, and hopefully, another girl will drop her foal because I want to see what the other babies look like because that colour came out quite nice did it not she got that from Versailles and Versailles doesn't have that kind of colouring does he and I just haven't been paying attention because I feel like I've not seen that kind of colouring on him do you know what I'm saying but like apparently it's been there for a week whatever all right where is Versailles? Because I need to look at you for a moment. Oh, I guess he does. I never really noticed he had those dapples on his bum. Well, there you go. I mean, that makes sense. But where this came from then, doesn't it? She's pregnant. She's pregnant as well. So I'm not going to train the newborn baby. I'm going to let him be. I really do hope we get a filly at some point. That would be ideal. I don't know, like, how did they see these numbers? I don't... I'm really not sure, because that just what their rankings were when they sold them to me. Or is that the evaluation thing that I don't have access to yet? I don't know, guys, I really don't know. Oh, I'm so unsure. Right. Good, good, good. Just doing great. I don't know where this 45 came from. Oh, because I did it again for five minutes when I was training. I see, I see. Let's, come on, darling. Come on, then. Right. Cross your fingers and toes and let's hope somebody drops a fall. Oh, gosh, really? Oh, that's such a cliffhanger. I really want these girls to give me the babies. All right. Well, I will come back to you guys another time and we'll see if, because she's looking quite pregnant now. So she should be due. I don't know why she's fat. I've had her on a diet. Oh, never mind. I guess I haven't. Because the, the grass in this thing has gotten so much better. All right. You're on a diet, love. Maybe that's just your belly and not you're pregnant. But you are pregnant, so just real quick just look at this stud that i've got her gone with like look at this stud oh, you can't see his colors because the stupid like clothes on him but sixty nine thousand. Uh, oh you guys anyways i will see you guys next time thank you so much for watching my video and hopefully we will see some new falls next time bye bye